That's all right. Turn that up a little bit if you could. There you go. Okay, for our yellow friends in the audience, let's see a show of hands if your yellow is your highest bar. <laughs> all right, fair amount of you. Woo, you notice there were, there were screams with that one. Excellent. Okay, now don't worry here. This is equal opportunity for every, we're going to pick on every color here, so it's not just reds that I did that with. All right, you can cut the music. So for sunshine yellow, on a good day, you are dynamic, you're demonstrative, you're persuasive, which is very helpful in the sales role, by the way. You're spirited and you're enthusiastic, which speaks to the woohoo. On a bad day, you could be perceived as, <laughs> yes, excitable, frantic, flamboyant, indiscreet, and even hasty. <laughs> now, you may not see yourself this way, and that's okay, but others may experience this in you on a bad day when you're under stress. The approach for Sunshine Yellow is fast-paced and spontaneous. So for, the, for our red friends, it was also fast-paced, but it was more structured. Sunshine Yellow is much more spontaneous. Also, social and uplifting. I mentioned this is usually the social butterflies of the group. In general, Sunshine Yellow is personal, friendly, outgoing, and creative. They like variety, relationships, people, and flexibility. One of the worst things you can do for someone who has sunshine yellow preferences is put them in an office all day and make them work by themselves. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> can I get an amen to that? <laughs> yes. So that resonates. It resonates with you. That's because sunshine yellow is driven by spontaneity and driven by flexibility and driven by variety. So those things play into an environment that suits that. And the motto for Sunshine Yellow, involve me. Yellows are people people. They like to be involved. They like to know what's going on. Also, let's do it together. Now, let me ask you, looking at these, there are professions that are where we tend to see clusters of color, different color energies. Now, we, now, caveat, there are all color energies in all professions. But there are some where we do see clusters. What type of professions would we see a lot of Kulbu energy? What do you think? Accountants. Accountants. Absolutely. What else? What was that? Engineers. I heard pharmacists. I heard pilots. Yes. Excellent. Very good. So anything that's about data, it's about numbers, it's about details, Attorneys, you could also say attorneys would fall into this. Some attorneys, not all attorneys. What would we tend to see green? Where would, we, where would green folks tend to cluster? What occupations? Nurses, Nurses yes. <laughs> Teachers, excellent. Nonprofit organizations, good one. A cannabis store. <laughs> A cannabis store. <laughs> Social workers. Greenpeace. Does someone say Greenpeace? <laughs> I love that. Forest Service. Okay. So these are professions that are about giving back, right? Where would we tend to see yellow energy? You got it. Hospitality. Good one. Good one. So sales is where we tend to see clusters of yellow energy. Now, I'm going to show you your team profile at the end of this presentation. You're going to see where you guys all cluster and where you sit in general. But in every occupation, you will see all color energies, but there are certain clusters. Where do you think you would see a lot of red energy? Cops. Coaches, perhaps? Lawyers? What was that? Was that doctors? Athletes. Athletes. Okay, athletes. That's a good one. 
Tax focus, that's right, goal focus. Finance, yeah, you tend to see some red there. Anyone else? Okay, good. We tend to see a lot of folks also in leadership roles who have red energy in them. Sometimes they lead with red, sometimes it's a secondary or maybe even a third energy, but a lot of leader roles tend to be red. But again, you see all energies in all occupations. <laughs> well, there are certainly learned behaviors. So, and actually, that's the, that's the point of the workshop today, is to be aware of your core preferences and then what you can do to adapt. Now, it's not about, again, it's not about changing. You, you simply just need to adapt to better connect to your wife. <laughs> We can have a therapy session after this if you want. <laughs> and lastly, my favorite one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> how, many, <laughs> how many of you get emails like this? Every day, right? Every day we see these. OK, here's the bottom line. What color should you be emailing in? Depends on who you're writing to. So what if you don't know who you're writing to? So the answer is, just because we're getting short on time, the answer is you should email in all four color energies. If you are green and you get this email, it's, it's going to be a turn off because it's not friendly, there's no name, there's no thank you. If you're yellow, it's likely going to be a turn off. If you're blue, it's not enough information. So the bottom line here is, is email and all four color energies. Okay, lastly, I said I wanted to, I want to show you where you are as a team. Look at that. <laughs>